Hi, uh, my name is Teddy and today I'm going to look at how to create a screenshot uh, of this page or any other page that you'd like uh, dynamically using a Python script. So we're not going to use any software, we're just going to create a script to help us make a screenshot of any page or web page that you'd like. So uh, follow along as we get started. You can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be very much grateful. So uh, let's just get into it. There are things that you need for you to get started. Ensure that you have your text editor, or for my case, I'm using PyCharm. So uh, and then in your PyCharm file, just create a new project. Go to File, uh, New Project. So I've already created one. So in your project, it will look something like this without these other files. So another thing that you need is a Chrome driver. Just download Chrome driver. Uh, it's somewhere here on the internet. You just go to search for Chrome driver, right? And then it will give you uh, options uh, to download. And then uh, another thing that you need is Selenium as a module. So uh, if you go to the terminal here, what you need to do is uh, pipe install Selenium. So it will install for you automatically uh, in your environment. Uh, for example, my environment is VENV. So I'll find it here, right? So once once you're done with that, uh, then we can start now creating our, our Python script, right? We are going here. Then we are going to say create a new file. It's a Python file. Then we're going to say get screen short dot pi or you can just leave it because a python file to automatically be pi then we are going to import a selenium because this is the one that we are going to use here so i'm going to say from selenium first we import our web driver that we are going to use and then from our selenium there are also options that we need for chrome so the, these options are from selenium dot web driver dot chrome dot options we are going to import options right so that options will be ensure that browser starts when it's maximized right then it gives us exactly the, as the way the content is on the page then we're also going to import time time will enable us to sleep or to allow an action to finish then you go to the next so you'll be sleeping in between uh activities so when you're done with that, uh, let's get into our code. So we define a function, say, get uh, screenshot of page or URL, right? And then you have initialize the URL, right? So first we're going to start with the options. We're going to say Chrome options equals to options. Then I'm going to say Chrome options dot add argument. So I'm going to add a headless argument so that we get the content the way it is uh, on the web page. And then we're going to add Chrome options dot add argument. Then I'm also going to add uh, start maximized so that our browser starts as uh, when it's already expanded or maximized, right? Now that we are done with the options, the next thing that you need now is to load your what? Uh, so we haven't initialized our driver. I'm going to say driver is equals to uh, web driver, a web driver dot uh, chrome. And then we are going to add our chrome driver that we downloaded. And then uh, we are also going to add our options so that it loads with the options that we have uh, uh, initialized up there here. Once we are done with that, uh, we are going now to get our URL, driver.get URL, right? URL we have initialized up here. So driver.get URL, so it loads our URL, right? So once it loads our URL, let's sleep for time to sleep for two, so for two seconds. 
So next, uh, we're going to look at the uh, dimensions of our container. So let's first get our element or the container uh, that we're going to use. So we're going to look at the reference. So let's go uh, to YouTube. So here, uh, YTD app uh, is what we're going to use as our reference because it takes uh, the whole container. As we check body, there's nothing. So we're going to use YTD app as our reference, right? Just copy. So if you go to element, you're going to say driver dot uh, find element by xpath. Then you're going to say YTD app, right? So our width first, let's just use 1920 because that's for our screen. Then for our height, uh, we're going to say element dot uh, size right so our size will be uh, now the size of the element is height we just give it 1000 because our height will depend on whether it's the screen scrollable or not if the screen is, is scrollable then we'll have to add 1000 then uh, now that we have our height and width we're going to uh, set our driver mm, set a window size to the width then what the height right we want a good place so what are we going to do now we are going to create a screenshot driver dot uh, save screenshot sorry save screenshot so we give it a file name so we're going to say our screen shot dot png we type png but for you to get a good experience, we are going to give a uh, setting a window and height uh, a time to set up in our driver. So we are going to say time dot sleep. Give it two seconds. And then uh, there we have a screenshot. Then I'm going to say driver dot quit. So if you come here, now we call your uh, get screenshot for URL. So come here to copy our URL here. Mm. That is a URL. So uh, first, for this uh, element, it depends with every uh, site or web page that you are opening. Not all web pages are white in the app. This is just for YouTube. So if we run this, what are we going to get? Uh, give it time to load uh, this location. Screenshot.png it some time as we wait you can click on the subscribe uh, button and give your comments okay so it also depends on your internet uh, it has finished so here it is let's see let's uh, maximize this uh -huh. Control plus. So this one, as you can see, this is the way it is. So you can go and click the subscribe button. Then there's a sign in here. So uh, this browser opens because I'm not signed in. Uh, so that's why it looks the way it is. It tells you sign in. So basically, this is a simple way to create uh, a screenshot uh, without a hassle. So you don't need to go and get a software, go to our web page, then do it. Just run this script, then you are good to go. It's so good in such a way that you just feed the URL that you want, then you are good to go. So if you like this tutorial, kindly uh, give it a like uh, or a thumbs up and comment in the section below. And also subscribe and click on the notification icon to get updates of any upcoming tutorial. Thank you and uh, stay connected.